Chaos Tactical. I'm the Master of Chaos, but you could call me Chaos on account of the informal situation. And today, I got a little bit of a different video I want to do for you. I get asked this question a lot, and it'll be good to finally get this on the channel. I get asked, what is your bedside gun, or what is your everyday carry, or what do you grab if you hear something and you're in bed? Um, well, my first answer is that's a very large question for me to break down, so I'll break it down in sections, starting with what I always have bedside. So I keep on this little shelf right here, a Glock 17 with a 20 round mag and the flashlight. Uh, I keep three extra mags for it. <clears throat> I also keep earplugs. Uh, these are flares in case you gotta show somebody where you're at. You know, it sounds like overkill, but then I got uh, some wrist based shell holders. Uh, I got a couple of extra shell holders over here, and these are some just miscellaneous shot shells. Um, which brings me down to the nightstand. This is my everyday carry right now. It's a uh, 1911 with 230 grain uh, hollow points. Uh, I have my charging station, but I don't have anything else really on that table. Um, but right here, I keep my 12 gauge. This is a semi-automatic K charm. Semi-automatic, flashlight, it does telescope, but I like to keep it on a tight beam because it's only got a short distance to throw, which is down my hallway. Then I got removable six packs of uh, shot shells. Um, so that is really my answer if I hear something. I'm not gonna go investigate anything. I'm just gonna stand there and point the gun down the hallway and if anybody comes through that door uh, into my bedroom, well then there's nine rounds of 12 gauge with nine pellets each. So uh, it's a lot of lead coming down range. But if I did hear something like that and you know, I had time, um, what I would do is I would grab my shotgun and I would also grab this little milk crate that I keep in the corner, this has an extra set of shells for me. We've got two more of these in here. And then four shells out front, four slugs, two more sets of slugs. I got this little awesome thing just cheap garbage to waste money on. Um, it holds a, you know, Sharpie, uh, flashlight, uh, bait pen. Uh, I like chem lights, so I like having one of them on. And then in the pouch here, I have some extra shells. And to the bedside table since we're talking low over here I got in this little basket compartment this hangs these are just some earmuffs but they do have a microphone where I can hear what's going on and then this is my extra shot shells it is really easy to just throw this on and then have easy access to your shot shells and uh, I showed my buddies at the range and they were Amazed at how easy it is to load from that as opposed to off the table into the shotgun. So uh, there are things you can do to make it easier for you in a situation you don't want to be in from the beginning. But that's my setup. So if I hear something go bump in the night, uh, that's typically what I'll grab is something along those lines. Uh, I don't suggest anyone go investigate any sounds. That's what you pay the sheriffs for when you buy property and you pay taxes. So I uh, suggest you dial 911. But uh, yeah, for sure have a gun to protect yourself till they get there. Stay tuned for more chaos.